Yo, headed over to the grocery store. The components of this gun smoke diet that I created, the diet that gets me right, the diet that I swear by, the diet that keeps me in shape, keeps me with low body fat, keeps me energized, keeps me everything. And the diet that I pretty much structured my diet ebook about that you can go get here. Boom. Yep, go grab it. We're gonna head to the grocery store. We gotta be right with all this stuff. Oh, NBM mask dropping soon. NBM going hard. I'm repping today. Yeah, wave check, wave check, wave check, wave check, wave check. <laughs> That's grocery shopping with the virus. There's a bunch of different restrictions and minimums. You get two cartons of eggs, you can't really stock up. I guess I could talk to you without wearing this shit. Cod, eggs, egg whites, berries, greens, and a fat source. And that's what I eat day in and day out. With the diet book I released, like one kid was saying, these are boring foods that I don't want to eat. And I'm like, working at the club, bro. Like this is, this is it. Like it's not like the most luxurious thing. Like a lot of times, uh, to get to a destination, you might have to go through the mud sometimes, you know? So like with dieting, there's a certain level of restriction and discipline. Usually the foods that are rich, foods that taste good, they're not really good for you. You know what I mean? Like think about the richest tasting thing. Why does it taste like that? Sodium, different type of season, preservatives, massive amount of carbohydrates, massive amounts of fat. Like there's so much oil that could go into stuff. I ordered last night, I had a piece of salmon. You probably seen the Instagram picture, boom. I had a piece of salmon, kale, mixed veggies, and I pressed it with a napkin and there was so much oil on it. Like oil is a hidden thing. Like you can put a tablespoon of olive oil, which is good for about maybe like 14, 15 grams of fat. And you won't really know. So you can have like two tablespoons of oil on something that you don't know. So you just went up 30 grams of fat in a single meal, you know, and it's not really, it doesn't look like you're eating substantially more. Same thing with nuts. You can have a handful of nuts. Um, or if you have a bigger handful, then you know what I mean? It's gonna be more, it's gonna be more uh, calories. Still gotta grind, cause like everyone's in the house. I'm in the house too. It's so easy to get a snack. Cause you're not doing anything. You're like, you're bored, so you're eating. You're like, oh, let me just grab a snack real quick. Oh, I need a snack while I'm watching this movie. Oh, I need a snack while I'm like surfing the internet or something like that. Stuck in the house life is a dangerous thing for dieting. But yeah, this is my diet. We are live in the Hummer, baby. Let's see if the phone sees it. The kid checking me out was like, yo, where can I get that hoodie? I'm like, I know exactly where you can get this hoodie from. Give a little discount and all that. My diet, berries, nuts, eggs, hot, gluten-free rice cakes, supplements. Yeah, this is how I eat. A prep helper, supplements I take, protein source. Protein source, protein source. So on my diet book, it outlines the exact like measurements, everything that I eat. So now we gotta take all this and turn it into um, prepped food. So I mean, despite the virus, you gotta be really, really careful with prep in general. Um, like you can't get around fruit not having pesticides on it. So, you know, vegetables as well. So I got this, clean everything off when soak it before I do it. It sounds really extensive, but you really have to be serious about your health. You have to be really serious when it comes to you, when it comes to what goes in your body. You have to think of everything as like it has germs on it as far as like if it's coming from an outside source. So everything is like really, really strict, especially now with the whole virus thing going on. My eggs. So you can run into trouble with this. You can get like nonstick spray, some right and like too much oil to your pan when you're cooking. To eliminate all that, I take my eggs, I boil them, just remove the yolk out. So that way there's it's non-fat cooking. So you're not using any spray. Um, you're not losing any of the egg, any of the protein source that's getting, you know, stuck to the pan. Because like when you when you make eggs, it gets like stuck burnt to the pan. Vegetables just that's steamed. Again, so I'm eliminating every extra added fat source. So you have to be really detailed because what the diet is really doing is detailing you, okay? Because they say like what's the difference between like a luxury car and a not luxury car, they're both vehicles. One has more details, one's quicker, you know, one's more efficient, you know, so the details is what makes things different. So with the diet, that's what you're doing. You're detailing yourself. The ebook that I wrote is how I detail myself from 307 until now, which I'm about 195 or 190. The lowest I got to was 190. You can't sit here and like add a little bit of oil, not um, count for it. Like you can add as much as you want, but you just have to count for it. And you just have to realize like, okay, if you're over your calories, all these little areas, that's where it's coming from. Every time you go grab Brazil nuts, it's, it's 
a lot of calories, you know what I mean? People don't take things into consideration or something might be calorically dense, like, you know, different type of nuts. Something might be calorically dense, but it might not necessarily make you full. So you might be able to eat it in abundance, but you know, you're not necessarily feeling full from it. So you're like, oh, I'm not gaining weight because I don't feel full. That's not the case. So that's what I do. I account for everything. Um, really, really strict. Like I said, eggs, boiled, so I don't have to cook. Um, don't have to use any cooking spray, don't have to use any extra oil, any fat that I don't account for. Um, vegetables are steamed, fruit is measured. And all these measurements, you can see it in my diet book. Everything's outlined in my diet book. I'm on the 200 and below plan. There's also a super shred plan in there. So basically, with my diet book, there is four plans. So there's a 300 to 250 weight range, there's 250 to 220 weight range, and there's 200 and below weight range. And then there's that super shred, which is like, super shred, it's like competition diet. Um, yeah, that, that diet is, it's not a fun one. But here's the thing, it, it gets the job done and it gets you to where you need to be. And basically the way you follow it is, you know, each and every week, cheat meals, the way you, the way you do cheat meals, each and every week. If, as long as you're dropping weight, you can have a cheat meal. But notice I said cheat meal, I didn't say cheat day. A whole day it just turns into a cheat day. And it turns into a cheat two days and a cheat week. And next thing you know, you fell the fuck off. You know, and now you're looking at old pictures, posting old pictures, remember, remembering and reminiscing about when you were in shape. Don't do that. Have discipline. I used to be as undisciplined as they come, okay? Like there's junk drawers, there's like candy here. Like when we have guests over, you know, there's like chocolates over there. I'm looking at it right now. There's like the chocolates, there's a the little biscuit thing. I don't fuck with none of that stuff because I got goals that don't um, allow that, that type of stuff. So for cheat meals, if you're gonna go cheat meal, think protein, carbs, fats, right? A amplified version of what you're already doing because you're already eating protein, carbs, and fats. You do that, leave it alone. Now when you get into like candy, um, you know, milk chocolate, like different stuff like that, that's gonna make you look and feel like shit. Especially when your body's been going hard. Like prime example, it was my birthday. Happy birthday to me, right? It was my birthday. And, um, my wife bought me this beautiful cake. It looked amazing. It tasted amazing. But I gained 14 pounds from that thing in one day from the sugar, the inflammation, everything. I ate a lot of it, okay? Like I'm, I'm human, I ate a lot of the cake. But that shit has such an adverse effect on my body. It was it was almost insane. Like people thought, like someone hit me, was like, man, there's no way that this could be true because I did it before and after. I did it before and after. It was three days where I got back on diet. And that's another thing, that's why it was it was a small meal. And it took me about three to four days or three and a half days to get back to my original weight. And I lost nine pounds in that three days. Cause like I said, inflammation, water retention. That's why B lean comes in. The only fat burner that gets rid of water retention. Cause a lot of a lot of times you will inflame, organs will inflame. It will, they will retain water because they'll be working harder to do their jobs. There's nothing healthy about added sugar. I'm not talking about fruit sugar. I'm not talking about sugar that's in fruit that's naturally occurring. I'm talking about added sugar, man-made sugar, fake sugar. Move prep tool my wife bought me for my birthday. We got PB2, this powder peanut butter I add to shakes sometimes. We got berberine. We got seven keto DHEA. We got ALA, alpha lipoic acid. We got flaxseed oil and we got B green, new supplement coming out. Be on the lookout for that. Also, B pro, creatine. Be ready, be hard, be multi, be clean. Now, be lean. Sometimes I take be lean capsules, pills. I, I interchange between the two, like based on my preference, based on how I'm feeling that day. This is almost five and a half pounds of cod. It was 50 bucks. You know, the eggs are organic. You can't replace your health. You can replace your shoes. You can replace a watch. You can replace a car. Okay. Fixing your body is very, very difficult. They like to, they like to budget when it comes to food, but when it comes to material things, they don't like to budget, you know? So it's like, you have to put your health number one. And now you could have any of that material stuff you want, like with this whole virus thing going on. But if you don't have your health right now, you don't have nothing. So next time you're feeling cheap about investing in yourself, think about it. Think about what would you rather have, health or some material stuff or some entertainment? Because without your health, you can't enjoy none of that stuff. Think, think about this, think about this. How many machines are in the gym? Overweight people use them. Ripped people use them. Unhealthy people use them. Healthy people use them. The same machines, you know what I mean? So it's all about, obviously, genetics. We're not talking about genetics right now. What they eat. What do you eat? You are what you eat. So now I'm about to chef it up, prep it up, and get my salt bay on real quick. Hold on a second. We 
gotta turn all this mess into uh, prep food. Let's go ahead and load TV magic. One, two, three, go. Yeah, that's my life. Honestly, the response to my diet book isn't shocking. I knew what I was doing when I put it out. Like, I know all these different guys got all these different goals. Every, some people wanna build, some people wanna cut, some people wanna get super shredded, you know? And they want something to stick to because there's a lot of different diets that are like, you know, it's the fad or it's the, the, the cool thing. And if, and if you know me, way back when in 2015, I was on MTV True Life. I was on MTV True Life, I'm on an extreme diet and I was trying keto, I was trying this, I was trying that. I tried everything and none of it works. Diet ebook is the, the sum of everything that I've done. It's the sum of like hanging around all the bodybuilders, seeing them go into competition prep, hanging around fashion models, fitness models, you know what I mean? Being one myself and what I have to do to get ready for shoots or what I have to do to get ready for, you know, like certain things, what I have to do to get ready for this TV show that I'm in. You're getting all that knowledge in one. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't want, I don't want to be smaller. I, don't, I want to, I want to, a lot of people say, I want to be big. I'm obsessed with being big. I don't want to be so big. First of all, we already said that wasn't healthy. But if you want to lean bulk, you can easily follow the 250 to 220 range. You can follow the 300 to 250 range. Like that's what the diet book is, you know? And there's also cardio recommendations. And all this time, I've probably been prepping for like an hour. And that's not that much time. Oh, I don't got the time to do all that. Make the time to do it. You make the time to watch this video. Man, you, you can make time to, to invest in yourself a little bit. And that's all I'm doing is encouraging you to tighten things up a little bit. Get serious about yourself. See what you can change. All your friends are gonna be like, yo, yo, you see such and such got in shape, da da da. You know what I mean? Get strict, get disciplined. So this is meal one in the 200 pound range of my diet book. So yeah, this is my diet ebook. Boom, 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 boom. That's available www.loganperformance.fit. It was completely written by me. All the graphics, everything. So here's a table of contents. My intro, mindset, become nutrition, how I made it, consistency, dining out, cheat meals. First weight range, second weight range, third weight range, fourth, yeah. There you have it, Jeff Lokes diet. About to enjoy meal one. I'll see y'all later.